Huzzah! It is now time for the next system test with my ADT Unimode 10UD Fire Alarm Demonstration System. In this test I'm going to be featuring some of the Spanish fire alarms that I unboxed in a couple of videos earlier on my channel. So I have those fire alarms, the Spanish fire alarm pull station, and then I have the CO2 release lift and pull kitty pull station that was also in one of those unboxing videos. So today I thought I'd talk about CO2 release fire suppression systems and then show the rest of the Spanish fire alarms on this system with the ADT Unimode 10 ud For fire alarms I have the System Sensor L Series P2WL-SP and both of them in this system test are duplicates. So there's one right there and then the other is right there. And both of these alarms are being coded to March time by the fire alarm control panel. So you'll get to hear that code and then because of that the strobes won't flash as much but you'll definitely still get to see them. Now for the pull station, this right here is a Notifier NBG-12LSP. And as you can see it is also a Spanish fire alarm, it says Fuego on it. And obviously these alarms are meant for an application where there is a Spanish speaking population. That's pretty much that simple. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the pull station and show you all the fire alarms going off. Here we go in three, two, one. And the alarms are now silenced. And as you can see, the fire alarm pull station is still activated. So we, we need to reset that in order to reset the main fire alarm control panel. So we'll go ahead and take the notifier key that I have here and insert it into the pull station. Open it up. It's spring loaded, so all you have to do is close it. And when you close it, it automatically flips the switch back up. We'll lock the pull station and reset the fire alarm control panel. Back to normal. Let's talk for a quick second about CO2 fire suppression systems. Why would you ever want CO2 to be used as a fire suppressant? Isn't water the end all be all when it comes to firefighting? Well, that is 100% not true. CO2 is what is referred to as a clean agent, which means you can spray CO2 at a fire, extinguish the fire, and have no cleanup from the agent that was used. You, you only have to clean up the damage that the fire did. And why would you ever want that? Well, there's some buildings out there that have very fire sensitive materials. For example, server rooms. Do you think you want a sprinkler head filled with water to burst and to flood a computer server room? I don't think so. That, that, would, not, that would not help the situation. <laughs> that would just damage more equipment. So instead of water spraying everywhere and damaging everything, you can use CO2, which is a gas, and when it discharges, it can still put out the fire without any cleanup afterwards. The same stuff that you see coming off of dry ice, that is carbon dioxide, which is CO2. There are even some hazardous materials stored in buildings where if you add water to them while they're on fire, it's going to make the fire a lot bigger and a lot worse. And just how does CO2 suppress a fire? Well, we know fire needs three things to survive and thrive, and that is fuel, heat, and oxygen. Now, your normal oxygen amount that's in the atmosphere of a building is 21%. So by simply adding CO2 to that atmosphere, we can replace the oxygen with CO2, which will basically suffocate the fire and extinguish it it will take away its oxygen source. Now that leads to one of the downsides of a CO2 fire suppression system 
is if someone is trapped in that concealed environment where the fire is and the CO2 system releases, then that person is going to be suffocated as well. But that's why these systems have many safety features such as you need more than one device to activate such as a smoke detector and a CO2 release pull station in order for that agent to go through the discharge nozzle. And there's things such as these abort switches which if you push this down and hold it down it will keep the system from going off. This one's one for a halon system. With that being said, it's pretty easy to realize that these systems are nothing like sprinkler heads, like a wet system that you would find in a building. These systems are more like a deluge system where there's several discharge heads that are open so there's nothing keeping agent from coming out of it that are placed throughout the facility or the area where they want the CO2 protection. And if enough of these devices activate, the CO2 release system will send CO2 through the piping to the discharge heads that are normally kept open and release CO2 agent into the area. It takes a lot of CO2 to fill a room. So what they do is they take CO2, they turn it into a liquid and store that liquid CO2 in several cylinders that are kept usually a few rooms away where there's probably not going to be a fire. And when the system activates, the liquid CO2 goes into the piping, and liquid CO2 has a boiling point of negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty much as soon as it hits the atmosphere, it will turn into a gas, and it will come out with a tremendous amount of pressure and extinguish the fire. So obviously that kind of system is way more complex for me and way more expensive for me to have on a hobby demonstration fire alarm system so on this board, I just have my CO2 release kitty fire alarm pull station wired into the fire alarm control panel, and that will set off the agent fire alarm, which is a system sensor P2WP. And that's pretty much it. When I pull it, the alarm will go off. Now when you see one of these in a building, it means the agent is either about to release or it already has released. So if you ever see one of those going off, it's probably a good idea to just get out. I do have a glass brake rod in that pull station right now, which makes the pull station a little harder to pull and helps prevent false alarms. So when we break, when we pull the fire alarm, that will break. And without further ado, I think it's finally time to pull this. So, in three, two, one, lift and pull down. Clean that up later. Thank you everyone for watching this system test. I hope you learned something. Definitely rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.